Hi, I'm Teresa. Welcome back to my channel, Celebration Elevation. So we are gonna make some dog treats today in keeping with my love your pet theme this week. We're gonna do some dog treats that you make out of three ingredients that you probably have in your kitchen. The first one is peanut butter, second is canned pumpkin, and the third is whole wheat flour. And if you don't have them in your kitchen, these are just easy to find at your grocery store. So simple. So what we're gonna do is get started. So I put one cup already in here of the whole wheat flour. So I'm gonna put one more cup. So it's two cups whole wheat flour in my, in my bowl. And then it is one cup of peanut butter. And what I do, and I've shown this before, I think with honey, but my secret to getting, you know how it's hard to get it all out of your little cup, your measuring cup? So what I do is I spray um, a little pan inside of it, and then I put my peanut butter in, and it comes out easier. You can do this with honey or molasses, anything that like sticks in your, in your measuring cup. So I'm gonna do a cup of peanut butter. I was thinking about treats today with dogs because obviously treats, I mean, my dog is very food motivated. So um, treats are something he enjoys and that's how we can get him to learn different tricks. And like my dog, he's a golden, he's a Labrador retriever. He will not retrieve the ball. He'll go and run and get the ball, but he won't bring it back to me. And if he brings it back, he just shows it to me and he doesn't drop it. So anyway, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> okay, so with, uh, with dog treats. So you can use them to teach your pet tricks, which is a good motivator. But I was thinking about when I was a kid, my dad, he used to eat a bowl of ice cream every night after dinner, just a little bowl, usually vanilla ice cream. And every night when he finished his bowl, he would let our, we had an Irish setter and we he would let the Irish setter just like the bowl clean. <laughs> and then to me, it was just like, that's what people did when they finished their ice cream. <laughs> so that's what he did. And my dad also really liked Ritz crackers. So that was another thing that he would just throw a Ritz cracker in the air and the dog would catch it. So, you know, memories. <laughs> okay, so I got my peanut butter in here. So I'll show you. It comes out. Hopefully it will show you easily. But there, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just, it's, you know, I'm not having to scrape and scrape the edges or anything. I'm just getting the rest of it out, but that's how easy it is. So we wanted a cup of peanut butter. Now we're gonna do two cups of pumpkin. And this is just canned pumpkin. And I'm actually just gonna use the same spatula because I'm not gonna use this canned pumpkin for anything else. So, um, two thirds cups of this. And, it's, but we've had dogs my entire life. And we, that Irish setter, in fact, which I never see Irish setters. That's not, that's not a common um, dog breed that you see around, but my sister actually found, we had a neighbor that was missing a dog and my sister found that Irish setter when she was at school and she brought it home and thinking it was our neighbors and it wasn't, it was just wandering. It had no tags and no collar, nothing. We put signs up and you know, back then there wasn't the internet to put it on like some web page or next door or whatever. But we would walk the dog all over neighborhoods nearby and everything asking people, but we kept it. She was the sweetest dog. Her name was Shawnee. Love that dog. She actually had a, a litter of puppies when she lived with us. She had 12 puppies. One died in birth, but she had, so we had 11 puppies and they were adorable. I was like five years old. That was just the cutest thing ever. Okay. So now we have everything in our bowl. We have the flour, the pumpkin, and the peanut butter. So what you can do is what I like to do is just first start it with stirring it with like a spatula or a spoon, whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna go for it with, with my hands and just um, work it that way. It's just so much easier. And then we're gonna roll it out 
on the table and we will bake it at 300 degrees for about 30 minutes and we'll see how we like it at that point. I think that's pretty good and like I said I might do a batch that's a little bit less than that for the other dog so um, we'll see how that goes. Okay so I've reached, I'm gonna take my rings off um, and now I'm just gonna get in here. So say that a lot so so <laughs> better than um i did that a lot in the very beginning of these videos oh my gosh i mean i'm not great at the videos yet but the very when i look at the beginning ones it's like, oh, oh, they're all so cringeworthy but who likes seeing well some people do but i don't like seeing myself on camera i'm so self-critical you know i would never criticize anyone the way I criticize myself on camera or in a picture or whatever. And I think that's how a lot of women are. It's really not how we should be. Because we are what we are. <laughs> okay, so this now has formed a, a rough ball in here. So now I'm going to just take a little bit of... I should have thought ahead here. But I'm going to take a little bit of flour, put it on the surface here and just spread it around so I can put that ball of and you, you could eat this I mean it's just it's things you have you in your cupboard you know there's nothing in here that you wouldn't give yourself or your kids but I think we're, we're going to cook the heck out of them so probably wouldn't want to eat them okay so now and and it's nice because they don't have to be perfect <laughs> but this would be this would be cute. So you're going to store these in an airtight container and they will last for a really long time. But you could make these and give these as gifts, which would be kind of cute. So I have a regular rolling pin right here, marble rolling pin. But my brother-in-law gave me for Christmas this cute um, wooden rolling pin. It says, like, I love you all over. It's like in the wood. And so it will actually... I think impress that into the dough. I mean, I'm, obviously it's usually for a human thing, but I haven't made anything yet that has needed to be rolled out. So I'm going to do this and then I'll, I'll roll it out first this way and then I'll see how it looks when I roll it out with the other one. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to move the camera in just a second so you can see what I'm doing. Hi, okay. So, rolled it out. I actually didn't work out with the impressions with the other rolling pin, so I just used the marble one for the whole thing, which is no big deal. The only thing that's really hard about this particular dough is it's really dry, so it's hard to roll it out. You kind of feel like you're... Uh, it, it breaks up, it crumbles really easily. So I took a cookie sheet and I put a piece of parchment paper and I don't know if you've used parchment paper before but it just comes in a box like this <laughs> and it's really easy to use. It's just it's a paper that you can actually bake with. It's not going to burn up in the oven but it also will make it so your, your cookies or whatever you're baking won't stick to the baking sheet. So I don't happen to have the little bone shapes uh cookie cutters i have like every shape but i don't have the dog bone shape so i'm just going to use little hearts and just roll it to a little less than a quarter inch and so this is what they look like and so i'm just going to do a tray full of this i think this would be good and i'm also going to show you on the next day or so if you check out my blog at celebrationelevation.com, you'll be able to see some really simple dog bandanas, little handkerchief, not handkerchief, what am I, bandanas that you put around their, their neck like when they get groomed. And it's so easy. I'm doing, them, I'm doing one that's like no sew. I know how to sew, but I figure a lot of people don't know how to sew. And I want everybody to be able to make them at home and they're really easy. So I'm going to show you how to make those and, um, and then you can, you know, put them around your dog's neck and 
make them feel stupid but you feel happy and then you take a few pictures and then the doctors get it off and ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, so these are good. These actually smells really good. It makes me want to make peanut butter cookies. That wouldn't be a bad thing, right? Okay, so I'm going to finish these up and let me just show you what it looks like in here. By the way, if you like my channel, you want to see more things, um, please click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Click the little likes button, the thumbs up button, and also always you can feel free to comment on anything you want. Um, you can give me suggestions on what to do next, what you'd like to see, or tips on what you think I could do better. I'm, I'm open for any of it. So go ahead and comment on my video. And so now I'm just going to show you what they look like in here. So, so far this is what they, oops. Okay, this is what they look like. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 300 degrees and bake them for about 30 minutes and then I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. Hi, so I'm back. I finished baking the dog treats and then I put them on a cooling rack like so. And you can see they're actual treats now. So what we can do is you can put them in any, you can put them in a Ziploc bag if you want, but if you wanted to do these for like a little gift for someone, or even this is fine to store them in, but I just took like a mason jar and then I'm gonna put them in here. It's funny that they, came, they were in the oven and my husband and my son were like, oh, what's cooking? <laughs> it's a dog treats. So then of course they wanted to both try them there's no sugar in them, so it obviously, my, my husband said, it tastes kind of like chalk. Probably. <laughs> it's a dog treat. Okay. So, ooh, that was pretty perfect. Okay, so then what I would do is take a, some material, some nice fabric that's like, this has little paws on it. So I turn it over to the back side. And then I just put the lid of the mason jar and then I traced around it and I added about, I would say like two and a half inches, maybe two inches around the outside. I just kind of drew a circle and then I used pinking shears. I don't know if you know what pinking shears are. They're the zigzag sewing scissors that like grandma used to use. <laughs> and they, you'll notice like if somebody makes jam or jelly, often they'll um, use the pinking shears to go shirts to go around. I mean it's decorative but but it also serves a purpose that way the material doesn't fray on the end so that's what it's actually used for. So when I cut it out and then you would put it on top and I used I'm using a rubber band just to keep it in place. And then it in place. Stay in place. This is really cute. I know it seems like I'm impressed with myself a lot these <laughs> things, but I'm just happy when things turn out. So then what I'm going to do is like, I made it a little too big on some of the sides, but I usually, when I do this, I tend to make it too small and then the rubber band won't even stay on the material. So then I'm just going to go through and trim it like this. You could give this to somebody, and then I, then I always say this to you guys, but you could give this to them for any kind of gift, and it's just a cute little present for their, for their furry friends, for their loved one. Um, I think it's cute. So let me just finish trimming. Okay, so now it has like a little hat on it. <laughs> then I would just take some ribbon, just take some white ribbon, Tie it around. Make a little bow. And that's it. That's it. So simple, simple, simple. But great way to celebrate your pet, right? Um, my bow's not going right. There it goes. Okay, there we go. And then when you're trimming ribbon, 
um, always trim it like at an angle or you can trim it at an angle and and go what am I trying to say like it inverted V like this okay not that one that one was messy okay an inverted V like like this well the purpose of this you're wondering why I'm doing this this is the same thing it's just so that it doesn't fray easily on the ends of it but now I'm hacking at this piece of ribbon it just doesn't even look good but that's what I would do um but I just I just trimmed it at an angle and that's what it looks like isn't that cute that's a perfect gift for someone or like I said you could just keep them for yourself for your dog let me just tell you for that batch how many it made um I'm counting for you so that well this is the size of the hearts which I would say is about like two inches from the top of it to the side of it so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so it made 14 of these if you made the dog bone size it would probably make a lot more because you can just stack them right next to each other and then what i did was when i rolled it out and i pressed them with the hearts then i took the what was left i balled it up and then i rolled that out again and i i made a few more hearts and then and then it, then they were too, kind of too crumbly to make anything out of but then i thought well this is i'm not going to waste this because this is i mean the dogs don't care if they're shaped like a heart so i just put little gobs of it down on the tray and just baked them and so i have some little scraps of that too so so um the dogs will love them i'm sure <laughs> that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you'll make some of these and i will see you next time thanks guys